no success without a certain level of risk. And the partnerships that exist with agencies and clients is based on trust and building businesses and building brands. And so when we approach communication planning on an annualized basis or quarterly, um, we really have a lot of heart for allocating a slice of the pie to innovation, to testing and learning. There's going to be some successes, there's going to be some failures, but you've got to do it. Test the new technology, the marketplace is changing, it's adapting, and we all have to take a, a mobile first step and be willing to throw dollars into smart ad spaces with dynamic technology whereby we can test and get really good learnings. Um, and today, one of the interesting things, the technology is, is it's changing, it's creating these opportunities whereby we can target um, in new and, and, and meaningful ways. And at, at our agency, um, I work for Quigley Simpson. We're in Los Angeles, we have an office in New York, and we really try to maximize our opportunities to do a video everywhere approach to advertising. And there's some pretty cool technology with Gracenote, with Samba TV, ad recognition, content recognition, that allows you to target in new and meaningful ways, set top box data over the top, um, connected devices and smart TV. So I'm giving you a lot, um, but it's part of the adaptive kind of mentality that you have to have, the risk in order to get to success, and um, you gotta reinvent. And so we partner with our clients in a ways that allow them to be more inventive in their marketing decisions. You know, how do you define success knowing that um, the consumption habits are changing so quickly? Um, and how do you really partner really closely with creative agencies because really good storytelling partnered with really good strategy, media tactics can drive success. I think the thing that keeps me up most at night um, is innovation and being able to bring new ideas to the table to our clients for consideration, um, knowing that the media mix is continuing to evolve and it's evolving so quickly. Um, and at the end of the day, we're kind of measured on our ability to bring more dynamic activations to the table for our clients. Um, and that's probably the biggest thing. So at this summit, it's, it's small. Um, I think there's more of an intimate setting. Um, and you really have an opportunity to sit down at a table with leadership at a high level, representing both agencies and publishers. So you're able to bounce ideas off one another, share success stories and failures to understand what success looks like moving forward. Um, you can have um, a direct conversation around goals and KPIs and investment levels. I mean, we're sitting here in the fourth quarter right now looking at 2015 planning, so a lot of it has taken place over the last two days here. And I'd say the biggest difference between Videonomics and some of the other kind of um, summits or conferences, um, there's just more of a, an adult, mature approach to thoughtful, considered, meaningful conversations um, that will help our clients and help the industry as a whole uh, versus, you know, three-hour breaks where you're drinking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Although those are fun. Although those are fun, exactly. <laughs>